Hey there and happy Tuesday. So it's good to be back here live. Um, in the meantime, I've done um, another class. So it's always heavy prep work, planning this, uh, uh, the projects, the supplies, and um, also making sure that everything is cut for everyone and makes it an easy experience for them. So that one was held here in my home and I got to see lots of different new people. And um, um, one of the gals even said, you're taller. Darla said, you're taller than what I thought. And I went, oh, that just kind of puffed up my chest for the day. Like, oh, wait, I'm tall now. <laughs> I am not. But um, but that was always a compliment. I guess I'm not like super short, but it was kind of fun to, to hear that. Like, doesn't everybody want to be just a little bit taller? Maybe most people. I don't know. <laughs> I just would like it to get into those higher kitchen cupboards. I don't know if you agree with me on that. All right. So I am going to share with you one of the projects that we did um, at my home. And then um, also this Thursday, I was kind of um, playing out the waiting game of seeing if more people were going to sign up for my Thursday class. I'm still going ahead with my Thursday stamp camp over in Worthington. So if you're debating, I still have just a couple spots because now I um, now that I have um, confirmed that yes I'm going to hold that event um, I am going to cut just for a smaller amount of people knowing that that's um, the smaller group that have signed up so I do I will cut for a couple extra spots so contact me directly um, so that I know if you're coming Thursday or not to that stamp camp event in Worthington and there is some road construction so um, just hopefully you can find me and I will be there. So, all right, now on to my card. So here is a fun, fun fold. So we've got the airplane here, take to the sky, um, sweet collection. And it's got the um, Adventurous Sky Bundle as kind of the highlight. And I'll show you how to put this together. Hi there, Lori. So let me get my camera here turned around and see a little bit better here. Um, it's always fun to kind of come up with something that's maybe a little bit more masculine or let me just put this up a little bit higher um, or just kind of a little bit different than florally put it that way. So where this is coming from is the annual catalog here on page 37 and you can see um, the fun paper that I have used before so I'm not going to go into detail on that um, and I am using just one of the dies here I thought about um, the coordinating embellishments but I went a different route and I'll and I'll show you why as I put the card together but I love the stamp set because not only does it give us one two three different images it gives us also three different cloud formations just some fun background um, options and then one two three four different sentiments very nice and um, it can be used for a lot of things um, too so um, not only Father's Day but I'm glad that they tossed that in there even though we're past that but it's always fun to have that but um, nice birthdays or you're the best plain and simple that's what's going to get used today um, so yeah lots of nice options so I just kind of wanted to highlight that again for you guys and um, putting this together should go quick and easy because I'm kind of using pieces um, from the event and then I can count it out to see what do I need to cut um, for Thursday. <laughs> so kind of a has been and a sneak peek all in one card but um, I love sharing all the projects that I make for you guys when I can so that's always fun. And hi there Rosina. She was one of them that got to make this card in my home so good to see you on here. So yeah if you um struggle with fun folds or something an easy way to make this card would be just to put this top element just as it is across the front but I thought it'd be fun to just kind of add a flap and have it do this just for something a little different it kind of makes the plane um kind of gives it a little bit more action too which is kind of fun as well so and it's always nice to give those cards kind of a little bit of wow factor when you send them off so Get that, send them off. It's an airplane. <laughs> I didn't plan that, you guys, really. Okay, so let me start with the card base here. And this is Boho Blue. Let me get my bone folder. Um, I always score all of my cardstock bases 
um, for people that come to class to make that first initial score nice and easy. And then I um, cut down these two pieces, um, basic white, cut four and a quarter, um, excuse me, four by five and a quarter. And then this is going to be another half inch, or excuse me, quarter inch less. So 3.75 by five. So let me, here it is, grab my adhesive and put that on here. I love this background um, here, just the gray check on there. And I love these two colors together as well. But it's like, okay, we can always kind of get some pattern paper a little bit easier maybe than these um, rolling in clouds. It's kind of, kind of been the way our summer has been. Lots of clouds, lots of rain. So kind of fitting for that. So I'm just going to put these two things together and then that's going to go on the front of the card, on that card base there. And so boho blue is what the cloud paper is. So that's why I chose that for nice and easy coordination. Okay, so let's maybe go with the plane, the airplane next. So I'm going to open up my Memento Black ink pad here. And because the plane is a little bit larger, I'm going to take my ink pad and just tap it on like so, and then stamp that out on some basic white cardstock like that. So I've got that on black, and then I'm going to just bring over my cut and emboss. Um, and I'm not going to cut this one through. I've already pre-cut it. Those nested essentials dies. This is where this is coming from. So you can see um, the nice like stitched edging around there. I love that look. Um, and then that is where that came from. And like I said, because I already have that pre-cut, I just kind of wanted to show you that um, where it came from. But then this is what we'll actually have to cut here. And so we've got the nice airplane die that I'm just going to line up. It's kind of a lot like there's the, the wings and um, the little wheels and all that. So just want to make sure I've got it all in there <laughs> lined up. Not that one thing looks good and then I'm done. And then, oops, you know, don't we do that sometimes? Okay, so here we've got the plane. And then we're going to do some... Oops, my host code thing doesn't want to stick. There we go. This is my July host code. Um, so uh, you can use that to get goodies from me. Um, and also, one of the things going on, goodies from Stampin' Up! For every $50 you spend, you get a host code for a $5 coupon to use in August. Want to put that plug in there. All right, so for coloring, um, the copper clay ink pad, what I do here is open up this, um, and usually I... Like, don't we all like to just slide that in? Um, but I'm going to leave it open here. And then I just add a couple dots from my copper clay reinker dot like that. And then with the watercolor painters, um, what I do is just kind of give my watercolor painter a little squeeze. And that's going to get some water here um, in this little base. And so we can pick that up. And then I'm just going to gently kind of glide that on here. And I've told people, like, when it comes to watercoloring, you don't have to be exact. And the other thing you don't have to be is even. Like, on my sample, I went, oh, there was a piece that got really dark. But then as it kind of um, dried, it did look better. But I was like, that's really dark. And yet it kind of was nice because... It did really accentuate that watercolor look. So I say you can go out of the lines when you're watercoloring, and you also don't even have to go all the way to the lines when watercoloring either. So it's kind of forgiving. So I think sometimes people stress about that. And um, for those that hadn't watercolored much or at all, I thought this was a super easy project just because um, there wasn't a lot to it, just using the one color. Um, oh, and if you did switch colors, then all you need to do is just swirl, um, kind of give it a squeeze, dab it out, swirl it around until it runs clear. And then this is just water in here. And so it's good to go again for the next color. So that works out really well. And now I am going to slide this shut here. 
um, because we are going to use that same color later. Um, and now we're going to do the assembling of that little fun fold flap. And for that, then for the inside, um, you can see I've got a little um, tag kind of cut and scored ahead of time. And the sentiment's going to say happy birthday. So I'm just going to pull out that four by five and a quarter piece here and get that sentiment happy birthday stamped out so that that's just ready to go. And I'm going to put some adhesive on that. And then I'm also going to just take this and put a little bit of adhesive on this. And this is where that little flap comes in. It is one inch by four inches scored at the two inch. So it's like that. And with this, what I do is just stick that. Oh, let me see how close. Kind of about right there. Oops, I want to get it really close to the edge, maybe even a little bit. That's what I like about this adhesive. It's kind of forgiving. You can um, kind of rearrange a little bit. Okay, because um, the reason I want it to the edge is um, not only does this have to score, you would think like right at that edge, it almost has to sit so that it's a little bit where that score line is out so that it can get around this layer of the card base and all of that too. So that you need to kind of watch out for. So once you know where that is, then it makes it easy. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit more adhesive there. And once again, it's almost easier to just put that down, press it against, and then we've got that. And then it looks happy. And then it also goes right to this edge too, which is nice for putting in envelopes. And we're gonna cover this up now Oops. <laughs> with the inside, which remember I put that adhesive thinking that would be good because it's all gonna stick at the same time. Um, I love my glass mat. That is one of the reasons why I could just kind of pull it off forcefully and everything's fine. Okay, so now I've got that. So like I said, just kind of um, covers up that little tag that we've made. Um, and now that is like that. And then I'm going to just add some dimensionals here onto my plane. Got a few that would just kind of stick kind of here, there, and everywhere. And got that. And this is kind of an end one. I might have to just clip one to put down in this corner too to make it even. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Joyce. Okay, so now I'm going to put that airplane kind of at an angle going up as well. And then we need to add a little bit of sentiment here to the bottom just so that that doesn't look too top heavy. And I'm just taking this little strip here of the basic white and that strip uh, I cut just in between the half inch and the three fourths inch. Um, and this one says you're the best plain and simple. It's kind of a tight fit but I didn't see people struggling, which I was glad because you can see like this isn't a photopolymer stamp set. It is the red rubber. I thought people did really well with it. Okay, so then this I'm just going to clip off. And this is kind of why I had like this last bit of my scrappy scrap of the dimensionals. So then I can just take, I already have. When I get to the end, a lot of times if I know I'm going to use it and not tuck it away somewhere, I take all the top off so then it's all sticky. Sometimes I've gotten into trouble with that, but it is kind of nice to just cut and go knowing that it's already sticky and I don't have to take that top layer off. I know it's not a big deal, but it's kind of nice. And so then this is just going to go right up to that white edge. You're the best. Plain and simple. Um... So, hi, Jill. You're never too late. Hi there, Marilyn. And, um, yeah, so um, that's the joy of you're never late because there's always replay. <laughs> okay, so now let me grab some embellishments. I chose the transparent adhesive back dots. Like I said, um, those um, industrial trinkets are awesome for this. But what I liked about these embellishments is that... Um, Oh, here's my, I was like, where's my take your pick tool? I have two of them on my desk and I couldn't find either one. Um, these have the, just a nice like cloudy white, get it cloudy white um, look to them. 
And so I love the pearlescent look, how it does look like it fits in with the cloud. So I'm just gonna take one of the larger ones here and then one of the smaller ones here. And I thought it just kind of softened up the card a little bit versus bringing in kind of that silvery, pewtery color, which we don't have. It wouldn't have been terrible, but we just don't have that going um, on with this card. So that finishes it. So a lot of times I end with the middle, but because of it being a fun fold, that's how it came together. So I've got that going like so. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration. And um, I know a lot of people are always thrilled um, to have, whoops, here I am, <laughs> some guy card ideas. So hopefully that will inspire you for that. I also um, have a sneak peek, um, if you like guy cards, of this one coming up. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'd like to do another live tomorrow. This is an online exclusive with that new um, adventurous uh, stamp set with the train. So not in any catalogs, just um, an online exclusive. And that was a favorite at Stamp Camp too. And, and you'll see when I make it how quick and easy it is. I think that's why people liked it as well. So have a good rest of your evening. Thanks so much for joining in. Catch you later. Bye-bye.